KC24 brings you a lifestyle show from women you know with Alex Delgado and Stephanie Bainham. Now, Central Valley Today. Coming up, it's the first of its kind for the Valley. A four-year med school is on its way to being completed and will soon be accepting students. What this means for people living here and how it will open the doors for future doctors. Plus, we are toasting to roasting coffee beans. Meet the local coffee roasters of Gateway Roasting who are doing things a little bit differently and telling us about their delicious coffee. That's just ahead. It could just be to escape for a little bit, whether it's 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And we're taking you to the perfect place for all things pop culture. Pop Stop Collectibles is giving us great gift ideas this Christmas. And if you know any comic book collectors, they're going to love it. Welcome, everybody, to Central Valley Today. I'm your host, Stephanie Bainham. Alex Delgado is off today. Thank you so much for your time this afternoon. And right now, the Central Valley is experiencing a shortage of doctors, but a brand new school hopes to change that. Clovis's California Health Sciences University has been approved to accept students for their osteopathic medical school. It's the first four-year medical school for the Valley, so when can students start applying and what does this all mean for our area? Here letting us know is Dr. John Granito. He's Dean of the CHSU College of Osteopathic Medicine. Welcome so much to the show, Doctor. We're great to have you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. So tell me first of all what a big deal this is. <laughs> I think this will be a game changer for the Central Valley. I think we have an opportunity to provide a lot more physicians to stay in mm -hmm. the Fresno area and begin to practice here once they graduate. And so we're very excited to contribute to that. Yes, and what is the doctor shortage situation? Why is that so prevalent here in the Central Valley? I think uh, the Central Valley is one of the poorest counties in the one of the richest states mm -hmm. and has uh, very few doctors relative to the number of people that work that work and live here and so increasing that disproportionate ratio yes. is something we should be working on. Oh well I'm so glad. So explain to folks what osteopathic medicine is because I had to ask you that myself. <laughs> right. Well graduates of osteopathic medical schools receive the degree DO rather than MD schools and the majority of medical schools in the country are MD schools and people are mostly familiar with that. Mm -hmm. Osteopathic medicine was born out of a, a tradition of treating the whole patient and looking holistically at the patient's structure and function. And over the years, the uh, curricula have become more mainstream, and so they're very similar to each other Got with it. the additional components in osteopathic medicine of manual manipulation, focus on primary care, mm -hmm. and also on preventative medicine. Well, we are so excited. This means more doctors are coming our way. So let's talk about your campus, because currently you said there already is a pharmacy school, and so you guys are just expanding from there. That's right. We have a campus on uh, Clovis Avenue now. It's our temporary campus where the pharmacy school is, and we were just uh, excited to graduate our first class of PharmD or Doctors of Pharmacy just this past May. Since then, we've purchased 23 acres of land at Temperance and Alluvial in Clovis, and that's where the new medical school building is being built. It's well underway, under construction right now. Well, we're looking at video. It's so exciting, and tell us when this is set to be completed. We're scheduled to have this building completed in December of 2019, so just a quick one year away from now with occupancy in the spring of 2020 so that classes can start in July of 2020. Oh, wonderful. And we have a note there that students, though, can apply as soon as May 3rd, 2019. Is that right? Well, the application cycle for medical school opens in May, and so junior college students traditionally are the ones applying to medical school for their next year, mm -hmm. and May 3rd is the opening season for medical school applicants, so we'll be ready to take applications then and then interview them in the fall of 2019. Oh, that's so exciting, doctor. So what can these kids or adults who maybe are looking for new careers, what can they expect in this four-year university? Well, I think we'll have the traditional medical school curriculum and we're going to flavor it with some of our unique features and of course being able to stay in the valley and live here is one of those. We're going to add components of nutrition. We're going to have a mm. teaching kitchen so that we can teach the importance of nutrition to our medical students as well as to the community. Yeah. We're going to add that to the curriculum and very excitingly we're going to have a very robust simulation center where students can practice on standardized patients or fake 
or actors right. in order to experience what it's like to work in a doctor's office and also what it's like oh, to work man. in a hospital. That is so cool. It feels like this program is just so real world experience and real life. Do the students, do they have to do residency after this four year degree? Yeah, every medical student graduates, whether you're a DO or an MD, then they have to go on and do a residency program in the specialty of their choice, like family medicine, mm -hmm. orthopedic surgeon, et cetera, yes. Oh, this is awesome. Right. So what kind of candidates are you looking for? Well, we want well-rounded individuals who are uh, academically superior and they have the rigor to go to medical school, but also we are looking at students who are potentially from the valley that mm -hmm. don't want to move out of town to go to medical school. And we really want students who are compassionate and humanistic in their approach yes. towards patients and have an understanding for the, the, yeah. the caring nature of uh, for their fellow man and, and fellow woman. I'm so glad you said that because it feels like the medical world is changing and I feel like you guys are right on target. Do you feel that way? I think we're right on target with that and adding the components of simulation allows students to begin to practice and rehearse those sorts of humanistic qualities mm. and we want to make sure that that is well entrenched in the curriculum. Oh, well this is just such neat news. We want to mention that you're looking for about 75 students for that first class. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then you hope to grow. Yes, so we have to ask for an approved class size of 150 per year. But for the first year, they only allow us to enroll 50% of that. Okay. So we are approved to start at 75 and go to 120 the next year, and then ultimately stay at 150 each year after that. Awesome. Well, I know you have been working so hard behind the scenes as the dean mm -hmm. and your team. So we thank you for doing that, and all with the hopes of having this four-year university medical school, which we are, and then having more doctors that stay in the valley. That's that's the goal, isn't it? It is, and thank <laughs> you for uh, noticing that. Yes, we, we hope to contribute both to the doctor shortage, and of course, we'll have economic impact to the valley as well with lots of students and lots of faculty coming yes, to work here. Yes, you will. So, new yeah. jobs. We are so excited. New buildings. Don't forget, students can apply May 3rd, 2019, that'll be here before we know it. And for more information, head to their website, chshu.edu. Thanks so much, Doctor. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you.